Oh, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to sunny Weymouth. It's just after 12 o'clock and I have been doing things without you, I'm afraid. That's what I've done. That's not permanent because I need to find some 2 by 2 wood. Right, you saw that I put them stakes in there, them metal stakes, in the corners there. But I need some big long 2 by 2 pieces of wood to go up to the top. At the minute I've got some of them um, metal poles that you can get that's covered in plastic. I've got one on each corner and um, and then I've just got bamboo canes like taped together so just to hold it all together it's holding up in the um, in the wind so hopefully that will be okay I said this about the last one hopefully this will be okay until next spring where I can do it properly and what I shall do is I think I've got another two of these metal things these metal spikes that hold poles I don't know if you can see that I think I've got another two of them so I shall put one in here and one in over there and then if I get the six rods up then that will be a lot more steady and I can go from like here to there with maybe bits of wood or I don't know I don't really know but anyway yes and I've got planted in there one two three four five six seven eight I've got nine cauliflowers and nine broccoli and I've got like a little pathway up there so yes that was a bit naughty of me not filming any of it wasn't it hey but I just needed to get it done because it was supposed to rain for two days and it didn't but it was gonna rain for two days I had one day to put it up and I just had to get on with it and not have to keep coming backwards and forwards switching the camera on sorry very naughty of me right now I've got these potatoes out these were lovely they've all gone now I've kept what I wanted and I've given all the rest away so what I'm doing now is doing trench a trench down here and I'm putting some of the turnips in which I put in up here because they need thinning out I should have thinned them out well before but I didn't really have the time because I was doing other things. So I'm still trying to leave them in, like, let's go in and have a look. I'm still trying to sort of leave little clumps in, um, but I am trying to thin them out. So I've got up to here. And see, we've got one, two three there which is a good nice little clump so I'll leave a clump here then dig a clump out there and then dig a clump out there and we've got lots of potatoes growing which I don't want them growing yet so I'm just carefully pulling them out pulling the bindweed out dumping it all in a bag and throwing it into a garden compost bin uh, yeah, so these are Swede and they are beetroot and that's what I'm going to do as soon as a bed comes available then I shall thin out again so I've got three beds of potatoes left hello Charlie okay. hello everyone I've got these three beds of potatoes left. I can see a bit of bindweed in there. So I can get onto them soon. 
Oh, courgettes. These are growing nicely. That's one. So I've been cutting the leaves away, trying to get a bit of um, sunlight and air in there. So we've got a few growing up here as well. And there is like weeds growing in between, so I can maybe get in and do them. But there's like a few here. There's one there, one there, one there. I've got to get in and weed that. Oh, one of my parsnips is like... Can you see it? That's looking pretty good. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go and get some more of the um, turnips, plant them to the end there, and then hopefully that'll all be. Um, so what's it called? <laughs> oh, separated out. Yeah, yeah. I said it a minute ago, didn't I? So, so. Let's get on it. I'm finding it a bit difficult to um, to pull these out gently and replant them. So, so can you tell me, is this gonna actually work? I'll try and show you what I'm doing. See, there's two there next to each other. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to pull one of them out, just giving it a wiggle, gently. Oh, pulling it out like this. It's still got roots on. And then some of the leaves are breaking because they're so delicate. So delicate. See, I put them all along here. And obviously these are looking like they're dying. I don't know if they will. I'm hoping because they've still got roots on that they will uh, grow back. So then I'm putting the root back in there, laying it across. I have got, oh, I was going to say, I knew I had some kind of nice soil in here. Putting it all around it. And then, oh, it's still so uneven under here. And then watering it in straight away. And as you can see, I've got this out of the dip tank. So it's all full of that weed. Let's see if we can get a bit more water out of it. So that should work, shouldn't it? Please anyone can tell me like I said I know they're dying off a bit and that's because they've been moved but in theory it should work because they've still got um, roots on them so can you let me know please right so I've thinned them out quite a bit and I expect them to go limp like that but I don't want them to die so as I've been planted them I have watered them straight away and I'm thinking if I just cover it up a bit and they're not gonna die as much. I'm gonna turn you off because there's somebody with a lawnmower. I'll be back in a minute. Now when I first came here, if you remember I put all these um, 
bird feeders up and then all of a sudden they just stop coming I don't know why um, I put peanuts up they look to be a bit rotted now but and these peanuts they look in a bit worse for wear but these meat fat balls they've they've come back the birds have come back that was full to the top um, not yesterday the day before and that one was so I bought a big tub of them so I might put them in the compost heap and then and put some more fat balls in yeah I think I'll do that there I filled them fat balls up again oh there's a couple of birds there now don't know if you can see them but I've also put some around the pond here as well which that was this was like down to here so I've just filled it up so they're obviously in that and they're obviously in this one I've got a little peanut feeder there which I don't think they're eating it doesn't look like it there's a little bit a little bit going on at this side there on focus yeah. a little bit going on here I think I'll throw them away as well and put fat balls in there they seem to be enjoying the fat balls more than anything so yeah I shall do that now and as if by magic there it is so yeah I think they found that as well now so that's brilliant now what can I do? I'm just pottering around at the minute. I've asked around about these strawberries. Nobody wants them. So I shall just put them in the compost bin. Ah, it's a hot one today. I, uh, I'm letting this drain now. I'm going to clear all that weed off. And then eventually, when I know there aren't any more tadpoles in there, um, I can clear it out and get something done with it. It's annoying me a bit now, but never mind. All right, I've got something to show you. It's a bit pathetic, really. So, let's get in here. Whoop, whoop. Are you ready? Look. It's a tiny little cauliflower. Now, surely that won't grow. Surely it won't. It's been attacked by um, aphids or something. And I did spray it. But there's another one coming here. But that one, I don't, that one would probably grow. That's got green fly on it, so I've got some spray that I've made. Hang on a minute. Right, I've got this spray that I've made, and it um, it's water and oil and fairy liquid. Now that is supposed to be pretty good, so I shall give it a good dousing. See if I can get underneath the leaves as well going on to a few of them leaves too so and here I believe is a broccoli so I can't really see that doing much either but it's all trial and error isn't it hey 
um, next year anyway, this is all going to have fruit in it. It's not going to have anything else. Just fruit. I, I'm thinking about getting some blueberries. So these are raspberries. And then I might get some blueberries for down this end. So there won't be any of these brassicas in here. This, I just put them in here because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. So... And I'm presuming that these are maybe autumn fruit in raspberries because they're fruiting now, look. Which I will have to give this a good water in. I should really have the water on now, just on the ground, letting it all get in there, sink in. I think that's what I'll do. I shall go and get that horsepipe on. Right, to end off with... I'm going to tackle this. Why aren't you focusing? Focus. That's better. I'm going to tackle this. And then decide what I'm going to do with it. But I'm going to get rid of all these weeds. Alright. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. So, from sunny Weymouth, which it is today, it's really sunny. So from sunny Weymouth, I will bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye.